Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Imam. Today I'm going to talk about the new FSR AMD Fidelity FSR filter for RetroArch. So RetroArch, may, you maybe you already know, uh, is a front end for all the emulations. Uh, you can think of emulation of um, console game, consoles, emulation of arcade systems. Um, so you can name so it's like an all-in-one system to uh, to get all your games running ammo like a, from different systems okay so how it works um, so in the retro arc you need to get the latest version of retro arc and then you have to make sure you have Vulkan selected under the settings video output you can see I have selected Vulkan and then I'm using you don't need a powerful GPU for this work. I think as long as you have Vulkan, it should work because it's just another shader filter on top of the existing one. Ones. So what I mean? So let's go through examples to see how much uh, of a difference it makes. So basically, what the FSR does just give you a brief. It's a uh, filter for image uh, clarification, image improvement quality, image quality improvement, improving image quality. So it reduces the blurriness, one thing I noticed. The other thing it does, it contrast becomes balanced. So it, uh, the image looks more bright, more clear, more sharper. And then it reduces the distortion. If you go using other filters, existing one, say by linear filter introduces blurriness and then if you use x other filters so it's going to introduce some distortions like too much round too much curve so fsr i found is relatively okay so it's a good balance of everything like um yeah so md did a good job and it's going to benefit the uh, arcade game or console gaming experience uh, on pc so let's not talk about it let's now go to the examples so i have the story uh double dragon uh, double dragon is a new geo game uh new geo arcade game so once the game is loaded um we have to make sure uh you have set up the input correctly go to the input and go to menu controls no not that uh, i think you, under hot case uh, i have this menu toggle controller combo start and select so as soon as i press this start and select together on the controller what's going to happen is going to pop up the the menu for specific to the emulator the retro arc using for the particular game for the game so this is the menu okay let's so this is the menu as soon as I press select and start so here I can do things like restart the game or emulator close the game or resume so under here I have to make sure I have shaders so because FSR is implemented as a shader uh, inside retro arc so the shader is on let's turn it off and see how the game looks without any so that's how it looks. It's a little bit pixel, pixelated graphics. Okay, so the resolution is quite low. It's been a spec when you stretch a small image. What's gonna happen to the pixel? So, so that's what happened. See how the graphics looks. Now let's apply MSR and see how what it does. So we have to go to the shaders again and turn on the shader and then we have to go load and shader slang and here under FSR we have to select FSR slang. I have found that FSR slang uh, works quite well for 2D games all the 2D arcade or console games. So that should be sufficient and i can apply this now because it's loaded already you can see it here i have two shaders uh, it's automatically applied a uh, setup i didn't do anything i just 
load that loaded that FSR and then these two shaders are loaded I don't have to touch any of the other things any other thing so what I have to do now save and save core preset so what it's gonna do is gonna remember this shader for this particular emulator so all the games using this particular emulator is gonna be using this by now from now on so you can see what it does to the image it's much much better now it looks like a high quality high image I especially like it when you look at it from the far distance or really? close distance. Round one. Uh, one. They are a little bit more challenging for that. You won't bother. I think. Uh, it's more than what I use rather than that. Let's again turn off the shader or FSR and see how the game looks without it. Just to give you an idea. Uh, go back quick, minimum. Yeah. 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 But if I apply a bilinear filter, say. Oh, Lord of State, I have to go shaders again. Uh, shaders and then load. Slang say by linear. It looks like this. Uh, it's it's, it's, uh, it's uh, but it's not clear. It's blue. It's, blue. Yeah. it's really hard to focus on. But with FSR, it's not. It's really easy. Uh, it's really pleasing on the eyes. I would say it's really good. This is a Nintendo 64 game. Less. I think I have saved the state. So this is how it looks. Okay, let's start. So let's just start out. Turn off everything. This is how it looks now without any filter or any FSR. Okay, is it? I'm so sorry, I can't help you. Uh, yeah, video shaders off. Oh. Do I have to load a state again? Yeah. So this is how it looks. I'm so sorry, with I can't help you. resolution. Sorry, sorry to disturb you. For ah, Mr. Bond, we have, we have a safety deposit box waiting for you. can see it. Good afternoon. Uh, let's go here. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And he can Sorry see to disturb you. Pretty close up. His uh, the boundary of his uh, jacket, right? Is a jacket. It's not clear. And now let's apply FSR and see how it, what it does. So we have to go video shaders on again and load slang FSR. And I would normally pick this FSR for. 2D games, but let's see how, what it does to 3D. So now you can see it improved the boundary of his right and jacket and Good afternoon. body. It improved quite a bit, and and the image actually looks higher quality. Good afternoon. The good thing about FSR, it doesn't destroy
today i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share until next time thank you so much